The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Sheriff Joe Arpaio says he suspects President Obama's birth certificate is a fake. We believe probable cause exists indicating that forgery and fraud may have been committed. Arpaio says his team of volunteer investigators believes President Obama's birth certificate is computer generated and they say they have a person of interest that may be involved in that hoax. So what is next? CBS 5's Heather Moore has been trying to get the answer to that question all night. Heather, what did you come up with? Well, Catherine and Cena, the sheriff says maybe Congress needs to take this on next. It all started up again when the Tea Party of Surprise asked your Sheriff Joe Arpaio to investigate. He in turn asked his volunteer cold case uh, posse to dig in. Now we spoke with the head of that team this afternoon who refused to talk to us about that so-called person of interest. However, he did say this may be the biggest scandal perpetrated on the American people. Um, big, one of the biggest scandals rather perpetrated on the American people. Oh my God. Nobody wanted this. You know, nobody wants to think this is happening, you know, in their country. Lead investigator Michael Zulo claims the group didn't set out to take down the president. Our goal in the beginning was to prove this document authentic. The problem is the evidence kept taking us somewhere else. He says it took six months and 2,200 hours to come to the conclusion that President Obama's birth certificate from Hawaii released by the White House last April was manufactured. It never was a paper document. It was literally created in the mind of a computer and resides on cyberspace. The White House responded today by pointing to the president's comments last year regarding the same issue. We're not going to be able to solve our problems if we get distracted by sideshows and carnival barkers. This is your face, your reputation, your name in the front of this investigation. How comfortable are you making these allegations? I'm very comfortable because we did see, uh, seek the advice of experts regarding this. You can build the document. We could take the document apart out of the same file released by the White House. You can't do that if you just scan in a birth certificate or any other documents. What do you say to the naysayers? And there are a lot of critics out there saying this is all, you know, a bunch of BS. Prove it. We did. 
we proved our point. That document's created. And from here, Sheriff Arpaio may look for a congressional investigation. We reached out to every member of Arizona's congressional delegation in Washington today. Only Representative Jeff Flake's office got back to us saying that he believes that President Barack Obama is a U.S. citizen and was born here in the United States. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Heather Moore, CBS 5 News. Heather, thank you. So how did they reach that conclusion? Here's more now from Investigator Zulu at today's press conference. Mr. Obama's birth certificate, there are approximately eight or nine links and layers. Links and layers are indicative of a document being built. The birth certificate was compared to a controlled document that investigators scanned into a computer. After close examination, Zulu said there were several inconsistencies between the two. One had to do with the so-called green safety paper. Investigators say it should be seen on the onset of the birth certificate, but they determined it was the last element applied to the, to the document. Zulu also claims the register and date stamps can be moved around. He says if the document was authentic, he wouldn't be able to do that. Whoever created this document imported that register stamp and that date stamp, laid it on a white background, and then filled in the green safety paper around it. Zulu tells us Obama's birth certificate failed every test they put it through. All six videos explaining the steps of the investigation were uploaded to YouTube by the user Tea Party Power Hour. CBS 5 viewers are speaking their minds on this one. Penny wrote, what the heck is going on with this state? We have a disrespectful governor and a sheriff that is going rogue. Has everyone in power in Arizona lost their ever-loving minds? For Pete's sake, we have a lot bigger problems than this. Margie says the birth certificate should be, have been presented before Obama ever ran for president. Why wasn't it? He is undermining our country in a multitude of ways that the media refuses to expose. I wish I could trust our president just can't. Susan chimed in, it's costing us nothing to investigate Obama. I think he's a fraud. Did it occur to anyone that Obama is pushing amnesty so hard because he's illegal? I say more power to Sheriff Arpaio. Well, this story is just beginning to unfold. Stay with CBS 5 News for the most in-depth coverage on Arpaio's investigation into the president. And don't forget to check out our website, cbs5az.com, for updates. Oh!